follow up to a story we first brought you on 41 Action News on Sunday. A fire destroyed a family's home in Platte County because of problems with a fire hydrant. Shannon Halligan is live and tells us residents and firefighters are wondering why more hydrants have not been added over the years. Hi, Shannon. Well, this family who lost their home said this entire time, this gnome sat on top of their flush valve. In their two years here, they wonder if the valve or hydrant up the street were ever checked, even after several fires in the area. Yes. Dan O'Connell's house burned to the ground 15 years ago. He lives next door to the Simon family, whose home went up in flames Sunday night. But it was a similar situation and not being able to get water when you needed it. Firefighters found the hydrant dry. They went a mile and a half to the next one. It's hopeless. You know, and there's you know, nothing you can do about it. You, you know, you're there and you're watching, you know, 30 or 50 years of life go up in smoke. The same thing happened at this woman's home last year, just a half a mile away. It's just so frustrating because you, you move anywhere and you, you pay your taxes and you think it's all good and all taken care of and then when you need it you find out hey now it's not there. It was frustrating for the fire department as well. Oh absolutely it's much easier if you can just pull up and find a fire hydrant that's fairly close it'll give you a good water supply it makes our job much easier. But 50% of the Southern Platte Fire District is a rural area where they have to shuttle water in. In a metro or an urban area, having a fire hydrant on every block is a very common. When you get out into the rural areas, it's very uncommon to find fire hydrants. But the tanker trucks can only hold about 1,000 gallons of water, not enough to diffuse a home engulfed in flames. And the water department hasn't returned my calls yet about whether this hydrant or valve is back up and running or if there are any plans to put any more hydrants in the area. Live in Platte County, Shannon Halligan, 41 Action News.